Marriage is a little bit like a dance. There's a lot of ways in which it needs to move and change and maybe even be a little innovative. And of course, in dancing, at least the way people used to dance, you have to pay attention to each other and pay attention to how the other is moving. Well, that's a lot, not a bad metaphor for relationships, of course, especially important relationships, maybe especially the relationships like the one we're celebrating with Carl and Kristen today relationships that are lasting. They have many dimensions. Dimensions that both Carl and Kristen understand now and many dimensions yet to come to their relationship. These two came together and they discovered love. And Carl and Kristen, you could call it fate. You could even call it maybe grace. I call it grace. And these young people are bringing out even more grace with each other and in each other. Well, it's, they're a long way from happy hour at McGillicuddy's and Maniac. I want to tell you that. Where good wine is neither served first or last, I just want you to know. I'm not even sure they serve wine at McGillicuddy's. No. But they're right here where they need to be, stepping into the one dance, their one big dance that they do with each other. Well, I'll give you your dreams as best as I can and I'll clean up the dishes and the pots and the pans and I promise to hold you and I promise to dance oh I promise with every ounce that I have now I might be getting older I might lose my mind and I might fall from grace But the love we made will never fade No more life built of love will never break Kristen and Carl have you come here freely and without reservation to give yourselves to each other and marriage. And will you love and honor each other as husband and wife for the rest of your lives? We have. And since it is your intention to enter into marriage and, you and you have joined your hands, I'll ask you to declare your consent before God and his church. I, Kristen, take you, Carl, to be my husband. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad in sickness and in health, and I will love and honor you all the days of my life. I, Carl, take you, Kristen, to be my wife. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, and I will love and honor you all the days of my life. This love that we made Good evening and welcome family and friends and new family and friends. Thank you to all that made the trip from your hometown outside of our little hometown of Brooklyn, New York. Lord God, we thank you for the food we share tonight in celebration of Kristen and Carl's marriage. We thank you for the love, guidance, and support of their parents, family, and friends. We thank you 
for making this day so enjoyable and bless those that have worked hard to make this day a success. As I sit around this room and I see so many people, it is a true testament to this amazing couple. And I think we're just all so excited that you did find each other and you've brought everybody here together. Carl, I'm so happy you and Kristen found each other and I'm so excited to witness the beautiful life you continue to build together. A toast to you both. I love you both. Congratulations. On September 7th, 1988, I was known as a husband, a spouse, a neighbor, a friend, sometimes Mo, and other names, but I can't say them here today. But on Thursday, September 8th, 1988, at 10 a.m., I became known as a dad. The best name anyone could ever ask to be called. Kristen has touched the lives of so many people, all of you, and many who are not here today. Kristen is one of the kindest, most caring, and true friend I've ever known and lucky to have. As I watch Kristen interact with friends and family, I notice one thing in particular. She makes every person feel like you are the most important person in the world. She makes you feel like you are her favorite. You know what? We're all her favorite. A few years ago, Carl and Kristen were, were joining us up in Maine. We were all in our living room. We had had a, a few glasses of wine. Carl had got up and done his um, patented shopping cart dance. And if you haven't seen it, give him about three more beers and some room on the dance floor. I'm sure we'll be happy to show you. In the middle of the living room, Kristen jumped up and just started doing her goofy little dance. It kind of one of these things. And it, it, it just fits so well together, and I don't know how a shopping cart dance and that really mesh together, but they've made it work. They've done the good work of really growing in their own love for each other. They're both very caring people, and they have this incredible ability to really extend that to a large group of friends. And in fact, it was very evident, it's been very evident to me that they're both people who have a great gift of loyalty, loyalty to their friends, loyalty to their family, and now loyalty to each other that they share. Call as my new son-in-law, I'm sure over the years, I will ask you to do some things for me, like heavy lifting, shoveling the snow, or drive me somewhere. So if you don't mind, I would like to start by asking you to ask your beautiful bride if I can now have my Visa card back. God bless you both. Thank you, Chris. Well said, well said.
I'd like to, to propose a toast. Carl, you, you've set the standard for best friends. May you both together now continue to set the standards for dance partners.